Hey guys, what's happening? It's Will and Gage here at SmashCon 2015. We're here with Tony Powell, creator of Rock, Paper, Scissors, an indie game that's been getting a lot of buzz. Tony, uh, how, is, how has the response been so far? It's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, people really understand the concept of Rock, Paper, Scissors, and in the new way that it's being played and stuff, uh, people are having an absolute blast and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a game that, you know, stands the test of time. Everybody knows it. You settle well, yeah, bets with it. Typically, it's played with two players, but now it's like multiplayer chaos with the three people. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's like been really, really interesting to have three people uh, participate in a rock, paper, scissor dynamic uh, because you end up having, the way it's played is kind of like Pac-Man. You can only move up, down, left, or right, and you have to chase your predator while avoiding your prey. And so, uh, basically, you have somebody always in a, always in a position where they're in between fighting or flighting or running away and stuff, you know? And so that gets that gets the crowd really energized. And I wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> you did okay. So how long how matter. long does an average match last? Uh, the matches can last anywhere from one to two minutes. You can set it from one minute, a minute and a half, and two minutes. We find that a uh, minute and a half is like the sweet spot for, for people who want to uh, just jump in and play a match and get like their a quick competitive multiplayer fix, you know? And this is a game anybody can pick up and play, obviously. Absolutely. We've had like uh, three generations at one time playing the game. It was uh, grandfather, grandmother, I mean grandfather, father and son, and grandmother, mother and son. So it's pretty cool and stuff, yeah. Is there any online component to this? Are you guys thinking about making like a matchmaking kind of thing online? Uh, we would absolutely love to have an online matchmaking game uh, uh, mechanic in there. Um, there are a few major hurdles in getting online multiplayer working and stuff. Right. But we're, we're, we're going to be looking at that and trying to hit it hard. Um, but as of now, it's local multiplayer. Okay. Cool. Any kind of idea for when this thing will be finished up? Uh, we're, we're hoping to have it done um, for PC Mac Linux at the end of the year. And uh, 2016 will be iPhones and Androids. And just one last question for you. For aspiring developers out there, what would you say to somebody who's just getting started on a game like this? Uh, for If anybody wants to get into video game design, uh, my personal advice would be to get into game design first. So like learn the principles of what makes a, a fun game fun. And then um, and also like, and that could be like a card game or a board game because when you're trying to take, and we're trying to transform your game idea into a video game, there's a lot of like, programming and art and things like that you have to know which uh, can take some time to learn and stuff but if you want to just jump in and start making a game that's fun like a card game board game dice game something like that that's really simple and easy to, uh, to just jump into and start making and then if it's fun on paper it'll be fun in video game form Tony awesome it is a lot of fun what you got going on thank, thank you so, you so much, much for joining us really appreciate it absolutely keep it here we'll have some more indie interviews right after this